Hey guys, welcome to my channel and today I'm going to show you how to mine properly on a GTX 960 and the 900 series on Windows 10. As you can see, I'm using Windows 10 Pro Edition. Uh, right here on my left, the NVIDIA Inspector showing me GTX 960. This is the 4 gigabyte edition. Uh, I'm using the latest driver, which is 388 as of um, 1024. And I'm pulling 7.6 mega hashes. So I'm going to go ahead and reset all my settings and we're going to start from there. Hey guys, so I've reset my settings and I'm only getting 2.4 mega hashes. So I'm still using the 388 drivers, which is the latest one. And this is the same video card as before. So you're going to download two programs. You're going to download NVIDIA Profile Inspector and NVIDIA Inspector. It, both of the links are going to be down in the description below. And let's get started. So you're going to go ahead and go to the NVIDIA Control Panel. And there's going to be three settings you're going to change. All right, so you're going to go to Manage 3D Settings and then go to Global Settings. In there, you're going to scroll down a little bit until you find Power, power Management Mode. You're going to change it to Prefer Maximum. Right above it, Optimize for Compute Performance, set that to On. And uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 uh, options above it, DSR Factors. You're going to change that to either 1.2 or 2.0. Now, I haven't really tested the difference and I'm not going to in this video, but at least for me, I've tested it on uh, 2.0. Uh, uh, option. Now, I've seen other people put 1.2, so I don't know if there's a difference between them, and you can figure that on your own. So you're going to click apply. It's going to take a little bit, and the control panel is going to flicker, and that's when you know that it's, uh, it's set. Okay, so we flicker, we're done. Now you're going to open NVIDIA Profile Inspector, and you're going to wait it to load. It's going to load two times. The first one is load uh, the, the options, and the second is to uh, populate them. You're going to go to number five. And you're going to find CUDA Force P2 State to on. You're going to change that to off because P0 is the maximum the card can do, the maximum performance can do. So again, click apply changes, close them. Now we're going to go ahead and run our Claymore. And you should be getting 6.8, 6. Point, depending I guess uh, which, uh, what kind of a brand of the memory your video card has. Now that my Claymore program has started to mine, I'm only, if you can see, I'm only pulling 7.6 mega hashes. Let's go ahead and change that by overclocking the card. Now I'm going to go to my FSI Afterburner, select my card. I'm going to change that memory clock to 350 and my core clock to 200. Plus. I select the changes. Now as you can see, I am pulling now 7.6 mega hashes. Now this is a great way to increase your, your hash rate by overclocking the card, but of course there's a trade-off. In the beginning of this clip, I was only pulling 72 watts. Now I'm pulling 78 watts. So that's something to take into account for. Uh, thank you guys for watching for uh, this tutorial on how to mine with a 960. Now this works for the 960, the 970, and the 980. As long as they're four gigabytes and up, the three gigabytes works as well. But uh, four gigabytes a little more future proof. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.